Uh, we'll start our recording here and uh, join the match. This guy was playing Eldrazi Tron. Let's see if he's still playing it. Uh, bad hand is bad. I finally lost the die roll. I guess we'll keep it. He's still definitely on some kind of Tron. I could play Burning Tree, Corsair, or a oh well, I could play Burning Tree with something. I probably want it to be the Corsair so I can most effectively use my mana and just get a bunch of devotion on the field early. I think we do that, we'll just get a basic forest because we do have a second wind sweat piece. We have a burning tree on top. I feel like I played that all too early. Yeah, you go ahead and get your uh, power plant. So, we get to see what his payoff card is. Hang line, dismembered. Okay, I'm fine with that. I think he's still on the Eldrazi Tron. Yep. We can make four mana. Here's a burning tree. Chump blocks for days. Uh, there's an Arbor Elf, there's a land, here's me passing turn. I don't think they run card in Eldrazi Tron. I'll take six for now. Just get a stomping ground that way we have it nice and early in the event that we draw the Kessel Wolf run, which we didn't. There's a forest. Five, six. We don't have enough mana for any eternal witness. Uh, this is definitely going to be a post band deck. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put his tower back on top of his library and search for a primal titan. That way we can get our own big dumb idiot. Of course, you search in response.
Is that not secure? Okay. So, what do we not care about? I can just grab birds. See, the best part is we screwed up his organization of his lands. Not that that matters at all. Ouch. Okay. Utopia Sprawl is not the card we're going to draw. I would love a Genesis wave. Uh, they can also run stuff like uh, the the guy that searches for an Eldrazi card, and then uh, they could probably get away with running Ulamog too. One, two, three, four, five. No, I need to keep at least six mana available, so we're going to block and block and take three. Yeah, I know it's very, very sad. Because this deck's whole purpose in life is to cast a Genesis wave. And I have not gotten a Genesis wave. Okay. We have to go for this. We have to. This is going to be a very sad Genesis wave. And we lost. Got Forest, a Birds of Paradise, and a Utopia Sprawl. Once again, bring in Worship. I think we're going to throw that on the main board. Uh, Primal Command Lock is very good against any of Tron variant. Hurricthar is not good. We'll bring in the Avalanche Riders. Take out Crater Hoop. Go down a Corsair. I think that's all we'd have to do. A Six Slime is also pretty good because he has Death Touch. In fact, he might be better than the Avalanche Riders. Yeah, we'll, we'll try this. I would love to play first. Avalanche Rider is a 4-drop creature with haste, and he's a, I think he's a 2-2, and when he enters the battlefield, he destroys the land. Uh, no. We have our nut opening hand. Let's see if we can draw into something to keep it. Nykthos is really good. Not right now, though. We need to draw something besides the Nykthos, so we're going to actually grab a Winslow Peace and fetch. Just to thin our library just a little bit. Uh, just get a basic forest. 
Harwell. Okay. It makes me sad that he got shot about now. Thought that's here. Endless one. Okay. We're still alive. Take four. We can Genesis wave for one. And it's not good. See here, I would have Genesis waved for one, two, three, four, five, six. Take four. Still not giving us what we need here. Five side Genesis wave for three. We're gonna have to Genesis wave next turn. He didn't search with his map. Take four. Six. Eternal Witness. That's the card I would love the Genesis wave into. Uh, we're gonna have to do something. I hit nothing. Uh, I can cast a Birds of Paradise. Now the, the the whole deal about it is that I at least want a Genesis wave for four. <clears throat> that way it can get a majority of the stuff in this deck. Uh, let's see. Sort by mana cost. Basically we'll get everything besides four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards in the deck. So basically, we can get five six of the deck. So at this point, we have to block. Oh, that's a pretty good card to have. Derek is also a good card to have. 
He's a next turn kind of card, though. Uh, I got for Genesis Wave. for turn. Does he have another dismember? See if he taps lands for anything, he won't be able to crack his oblivion stone because he has one, two, three, four, five, six mana available to him. And he just played the tower. So we're gonna block like this and hope and pray we get something amazing off of the Genesis wave. Or we can draw the final titan. And force him to crack the oblivion stone. One, two, three, four, five, six mana, so we'd have to tap up the casting. I'm fine with that trade. So Guess what we get to get? We'll get that and our Temple Guardian move up. We draw the worship. Yes, I would love to use that ability. I hate yes, the wrong thing. Oops. <laughs> I think we just cut ourselves. We did. So because now he gets to untap, crack his oblivion stone, and uh, kill us. Yep. We're dead. Yeah, I probably did just blow his mind. Uh, that's 0 and 5 on the day. Yeah, 0 and 5. 